Hi, welcome to NPA teaching. I hope you are enjoying my video lecture series. As we are already said that one of the most important application of matrices is to give the solution of linear equation. In this video, I am going to discuss how to solve the system of linear equation with two or three variables by using matrix inversion method. Thus, to solve the system of equation, we must be master over finding an inverse of a matrix which I have already discussed in the last video thoroughly. Thus, solving the system of a linear equation using the inverse of a matrix requires the definition of three new matrices. First one is the X matrix which is the matrix representing the variable of the system. Secondly, B matrix which represents the constants and finally a matrix which is the coefficient matrix. Using matrix multiplication, we may define a system of equation with the same number of equation as variable as which is a x is equal to b where a is the coefficient matrix, x is the variable matrix and b is the constant matrix. See like this, a x is equal to b where a is the coefficient matrix, x is the variable matrix and B is the constant matrix. Now we want to solve this equation for X. We would need to divide B by A in order to isolate the value of X. However, when operating with the matrices, we cannot divide. Instead, we will multiply it by using the inverse of a A. So by multiplying both sides of the equation, by using the inverse of a A, we can obtain the solution that is inverse of a a into a into x which is equal to inverse of a a into b and we know the a into a inverse is equal to identity matrix further an identity matrix into x which is equal to x because multiplying any matrix by an identity matrix of an approximate size leave matrix is unaltered. So, identity matrix into x is equal to x. So, if a x is equal to b, then x is equal to a inverse into b. It means that we can find the values of a variable say x, y and z in the x matrix by multiplying the inverse of a a matrix by the b matrix which is the constant matrix. Thus, for finding the value of unknown variable of a given linear equation, firstly, find the inverse and then multiply it with the column vector of a constant B, that is B matrix. Now, here the system of linear equation is given and we want to solve this system of linear equation by using matrix inversion method. So, the equations are 18x minus y is equal to 87 minus 2x plus 36y is equal to 98. Now, for solving the system of linear equation by using the inverse of a matrix, first step, we have to rewrite this the given equation in the matrix format that is a x is equal to b. We know that a is the coefficient matrix, x is the variables and b is the constant matrix. So, here a is equal to the coefficients of the variables are 18 minus y it is minus 1 minus 2 and 36. So matrix A that is 18 minus 1 minus 2 and 36. Then we have the x matrix that is variables here we have two variables x and y. So matrix x is equal to x and y. Then the third matrix is the b constant matrix here the constants are 87 and 98. Now after finding the matrix format AX is equal to B, the second step is to find the determinant value of given matrix A. The determinant of a given matrix A is equal to 18 into 36 minus minus 1 into minus 2. So 18 into 36 is equal to 648 minus minus 1 into minus 2 which is equal to 2. 
सिक्स फोर्टी एट माइनस टू विच इज ईक्वल टू सिक्स फोर्टी सिक्स सो द वैल्यू ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए गिवन मैट्रिक्स इज ईक्वल टू सिक्स फोर्टी सिक्स आफ्टर फाइंडिंग द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए गिवन मैट्रिक्स वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द माइनर्स ऑफ ए गिवन मैट्रिक्स सो फॉर फाइंडिंग द माइनर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू टेक द फर्स्ट एलमेंट देन करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द फर्स्ट एलमेंट रिमूव द रोज एंड कॉलम्स सो वी वी हैव द फर्स्ट माइनर विच इज थर्टी सिक्स and by removing the corresponding to the second element we will get the second minor which is equal to minus 2 and the removing the rows and columns of the corresponding to the third element which is equal to minus 1 and by removing the row and column of corresponding to the fourth element is equal to 18 so minus are 36 minus 2 minus 1 and 18 after finding the minors we have to find the cofactors of a given matrix so here the first cofactor is equal to c11 which is equal to minus 1 raised to the power 1 plus 1 into the first minor which is equal to minus 1 square into first minor equal to 36 so 1 into 36 is equal to 36 the second minor which is equal to minus 1 raised to the power 1 plus 2 into the second minor which is equal to minus 2 so minus 1 into minus 2 is equal to 2 the third cofactor is equal to minus 1 raised to the power 2 plus 1 into the third minor which is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 into minus 1 is equal to 1 and the fourth cofactor is equal to minus 1 raised to the power 2 plus 2 into the fourth minor which minor which is equal to 18 so 1 into 18 is equal to 18 so after finding the cofactors of each and every element of a given matrix now we want to frame a cofactor matrix so cofactor matrix is equal to 36 2 118 which are the cofactors which are substituted for the corresponding elements in the matrix a after finding the cofactor matrix now we want to find the adjoint so for finding the adjoint we have to take the transpose of a given matrix so here the transpose of a cofactor matrix is equal to by interchanging the rows into columns and columns into rows so the first row of cofactor matrix now become the first column and the second row of the cofactor matrix become the the second column of the adjoint matrix the next step is to find the inverse of a matrix so for finding the inverse of a matrix we have an equation that is 1 by the determinant of a given matrix into adjoint a so we are already found the determinant value and adjoint of adjoint matrix so the determinant value is equal to 646 and the adjoint matrix is 36 1 2 and 18 thus for finding the inverse we have to divide the each and every element of a adjoint matrix by its determinant value that is 646 so 18 divided by 646 1 divided by 646 2 divided by 646 and 18 divided by 646 and if you are simplifying these numbers we will get 18 divided by 323 1 divided by 646 1 divided by 323 and 9 divided by 323 so after finding the inverse now our equation for finding the value of unknowns x is equal to inverse of a a into b so here for finding the value of x matrix that is x and y we have to multiply the inverse of a matrix into the constant matrix so the inverse of a matrix is this one and the constant matrix is 87 and 98 if you multiply these two matrices then we will get 5 and 3 thus here 5 is the value of x and 3 is the value of y now we are going to consider the system of linear equation with three unknown variables x y and z and we are going to solve this equation by using the matrix inversion method so the three equations are 5x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 16 2x plus 3y minus 5z is equal to 2 and 4x minus 5y plus 6z is equal to 7 and the first step is to rewrite the given equations in the form of a matrix format that is a x is equal to b so here a is the coefficient matrix that is coefficients are 5 minus 2 3 2 3 minus 5 Four minus five and six, and the the x matrix is the variables which is x, y, z. We have a three unknowns, and the coefficient matrix is sixteen to seven. After rewriting the equation in the form of a matrix format, we want to find the determinant of a given matrix A. 
that is matrix a is equal to 5 minus 2 3 2 3 minus 5 4 minus 5 and 6 and the determinant value of this matrix we received as minus 37 so after finding the determinant of a given matrix the next step is to find the minor now we want to find out the minus of a given matrix so for finding the minus here the first minor m11 which is equal to corresponding to the first element 5 by remove columns we will get a 2 into 2 determinant that is 3 minus 5 minus 5 into 6 so here 3 into 6 minus minus 5 into minus 5 so we will get a 18 minus 25 which is minus 7 so the similar way we have to take the minus of an each and every element and ultimately we have a minus 7 32 minus 22 3 18 minus 17 1 minus 31 and 19 these are the minus of a given matrix after finding the minor we have to find the cofactors of a given matrix so the first cofactor which is equal to minus 1 raised to the power 1 plus 1 into the first minor which is minus 7 so 1 into minus 7 is equal to minus 7 similarly the second cofactor which is equal to minus 1 raised to the power 1 plus 2 into the second minor which is equal to 32 so minus 1 into 32 is equal to minus 32 in the similar way we have to find the all other cofactors of a given matrix so we have a cofactors are minus 7 minus 32 minus 22 minus 3 18 17 1 31 and 19 after finding the cofactors of each and every element we want to find the cofactor matrix and for that we have to write the each and every cofactors corresponding to the each and every element of a given matrix so here we have a cofactor matrix which is equal to minus 7 minus 32 minus 22 minus 3 18 17 1 31 and 19 so we are already framed the cofactor matrix after framing the cofactor mat matrix we have to take its transpose by interchanging rows into columns and columns into rows so the first row now will become the sec first column the second row will become the second column and third row will become the third column so we will get a adjoint of a given matrix the next step is to apply the formula for calculating the inverse of a matrix so inverse of a matrix is equal to 1 by the determinant value of a into adjoint a and we are already calculated the determinant of a which is equal to minus 37 and adjoint matrix is already calculated now the inverse of a matrix is equal to 1 by minus 37 into minus 7 minus 3 1 minus 32 18 31 minus 22 17 and 19 now each and every element of a adjoint a is divided by minus 37 we will get the inverse of a matrix so inverse of a matrix is this one so the last step is to find the value of unknowns the unknowns are here x y and z so for finding the value of x y and z we have to multiply the inverse of a matrix with the constant matrix that is equal to b so here the b matrix that is constant matrix is 16 2 7 multiply these constant matrix with the inverse of a matrix which will give the values of unknown so values of unknown are 3 7 5 so here 3 is the value of x 7 is the value of y and 5 is the value of z so x is equal to 3 y is equal to 7 and z is equal to 5 so this is the procedure for calculating the value of unknowns in the system of linear equation by using the inverse of a matrix thus once again i am repeating the stepwise procedures for solving the system of linear equation by using the inverse of a matrix so the first step is to rewrite the given equations in the matrix format ax is equal to b after rewriting we have to find out the determinant value of given matrix then minus of a given matrix cofactors of a given matrix then cofactor matrix find the adjoint of a given matrix by using the transpose of a cofactor matrix then apply for calculating the inverse of a matrix and finally we have to find the value of unknown by multiplying the inverse of a matrix with the constant matrix thus the most important use of an inverse of a matrix is to solve the system of linear equation if you are not subscribed to my channel 
kindly subscribe to get the updated video by clicking subscribe button and bell icon have a nice day and see you in the next video thank you